Hi everyone, today I'm going to give my Canopy Lake trip report uh, with a quick side trip to Quasi Park thrown in as well. So for Canopy, I was in the area for the weekend because I was visiting my sister who lives in Boston and thus we went with her and her boyfriend to the park. Uh, we decided to get the After 5 reduced cost admission ticket since it's a pretty small park and they were open until 10. I'd recommend this because even though the park was crowded, um, we often waited around 40 minutes for some of the coasters and other rides. The park really just isn't that big. So you shouldn't have a huge problem getting on all the good rides. Okay, I'll jump right into the coasters. So first we went on the Yankee Cannonball. This is a PTC wooden coaster from the 1930s. Not too impressive on paper at 63 feet tall and a top speed of 35 miles per hour. Overall, I'd say I enjoy the ride. Um, I sat towards the back of the train and it had some nice floater air time throughout the layout. Um, the trains had those buzz bars instead of the typical ratcheting lap bar, and they really contributed to a more out-of-control feeling on some of the hills. Um, but overall, this ride still isn't that intense. It was also pretty smooth for a wooden coaster. I'm going to give this ride a 6.5 out of 10. It isn't really bad at any one thing. It's just really not that impressive at anything. Um, but it's still a good coaster for a smaller, more regional park, which Canopy is. Next, we did the corkscrew. And this is a pretty much a generic arrow corkscrew with a bank turnaround after the lift, a decent first drop, and two admittedly rough corkscrews before hitting the brake run. I really like the view of the lake from the top, but other than that, it's a fairly basic ride uh, that doesn't really justify the 40 minutes we waited for it. And I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. Next was far and away the best coaster in the park, which is Untamed. And this is a Gerslauer Eurofighter. Really only one of a few in North America. The only other one that I've been on so far is the Mystery Mine at Dollywood, which I would say that I like, but I don't quite love. I felt that Untamed was better in some ways and worse in others. I really enjoyed the layout on Untamed. Um, definitely better than Mystery Mine, where I felt like there was a lot of wasted space. In terms of theming, this ride sort of has theming. Uh, the cars are themed to a bear, the supports are painted like trees, and the station has a rustic kind of log cabin sort of theme. Still, it's really nothing compared to the Mystery Mine. Overall, um, the ride itself is solidly fun. The first 97 degree drop is decently intense, although it's very short and I wish the ride was a bit taller. The first loop is cool and I really enjoyed the cutback and the heartline roll. The ride's also really well paced. Um, it's a short ride, but it doesn't really feel like there's much wasted track. And I know there have been some complaints about this ride being rough, but personally, I didn't find the ride to be that rough other than the Heartline roll, which sort of threw me around a little bit. So overall, I'm going to give this ride a 7.5. It's a solidly fun ride that's a very nice addition to the park. So in terms of other rides, I went on the Mine of the Lost Souls dark ride, which was just kind of bizarre, honestly. It sort of starts off with this mining uh, kind of frontier town theme before something goes terribly, terribly wrong, like with most dark rides. And you end up in some Egyptian tomb. It's, it's a really strange transition, and we were all sort of left wondering what happened after we got off. Next was the log flume. Uh, we also did the log flume, which was fairly generic, um, but at least it had a short line. There's really just not that much else to say there. And at the end of the night, we basically just ended the night by getting dinner near the lake, which was nice, watching the fireworks and catching a ride on the Ferris wheel, which is honestly one of the nicer ones I've been on. It's got a cool color scheme, and they gave us four rotations around. Overall, I enjoyed my day at Canopy. It's a nice regional theme park. And yeah, I would say it's worth half a day to explore. So overall, I'm going to give the park a 7 out of 10. So next up is Quasi. So on the way home, we made a quick decision to stop by Quasi and grab a ride on Wooden Warrior, which I've heard is really great things about in general for this ride, despite its small size. It's $5 per ride, and when I was there, the coaster was a walk-on. Their strengths were also really comfortable. I got the front row, and overall I was really impressed with this coaster. I couldn't believe how much airtime there was in this ride. It's like every hill basically had me popping out of my seat. Um, none of it was quite ejector airtime, but I'd describe it as strong floater. I really like the small airtime hill after the first drop, and there's also a pretty intense bank turn into a shed. So overall, I'm going to give this ride an 8 out of 10. It was definitely the surprise of the trip. And probably one of the most underrated roller coasters I've ever been on. So since I was in a rush to get home, that was all we did at Quasi that day. But it seems like a nice park on a lake. Um, it might be fun, you know, if you have a family with younger kids. And yeah, that was it for the trip this last weekend. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. Tune in next time for more reviews.